Are your sunglasses polarizing sunglasses? Would you know how to tell? Watch this. I've got here just a mobile phone and this is the lens that I've just popped out of those sunglasses. I'm going to hold the lens in front of the phone and watch what happens as I rotate it. At the moment you can see the light is passing through it but as I turn it round less and less light gets through until I get it there at 90 degrees to where it was and none of the light is getting through. That's because the light that comes from your phone is polarised light and this is a polarising filter. So what does that mean? How does it work? Well, light, you know, is made of waves, transverse waves. And you might imagine transverse waves to look like something like that. That's certainly how I imagine them. And the light that's around you from sunlight or from normal electric light in your home is made of lots of these waves. But they're not all travelling in exactly the same way because some of them might be kind of flipped over or angled slightly differently. Something like that. At any of these different orientations all the way around, we call those scientifically planes of polarisation. And light is made of a mix of all of those. Now, the light that comes from your mobile phone is polarised, which means all of the light is oriented the same way. So all of the waves might be this way or all of the waves might be that way but they're all in the same orientation now if you imagine light to look like this then you could imagine a polarizing filter to look something like this okay so that's just a piece of card with slits cut in it but that's pretty much what a polarizing filter looks like it will allow the light to pass through if it's polarized in the right direction but if i turn that around then obviously None of the light is going to pass through. It's now the wrong way around. In between, any angle in between here, where it can all pass through and here, some of it will pass through. And that depends on exactly what the angle here is. So polarised light all lies in one orientation or one plane of polarisation. And a polarising filter will only let through light which is polarised in a particular direction. So what happens when we use our filter? with normal sunlight. Let's have a look. Here we've got some natural light and I'm just going to hold one of those lenses, one of those polarising filters over the patch of sky there and rotate it and see what happens. See, not much happens, there's not much difference. It's not like when we did this over the mobile phone light. That's because light coming from the sun is not polarised. It's oscillating in every possible plane of polarisation, or every different angle, if you like. And so no matter which way around I hold the filter, the same amount of light passes through. Now, I'm just going to bring that one a little bit closer so that I can add the other one in as well. Okay, now, at the moment, I've got these both lined up in the same direction. But if I turn one of them round, watch what happens. That's because the first filter only allows light to pass through if it's got a certain polarisation. In other words, the first filter actually polarises the light. And then that light can only pass through the second one if it's got the right plane of polarisation. So when these two filters are both lined up the same way around as they are now, the light that passes through the first one can also pass through the second one. But if I turn one of them round, so they're at right angles to each other, well, anything that goes through the first one cannot get through the second one. Another thing you might notice here is that there's quite a lot of reflection coming from the cars and the road itself at the bottom of the street there. Now, if I put the lens over, it will cut out quite a lot of that reflection, quite a lot of that glare. But if I turn it round the wrong way, see all that reflection comes back. Light can actually be polarised by reflection. So reflected light coming off the surface of the cars or off the surface of the road tends to be polarised. And that means wearing polarised polarising filters in your sunglasses, you can cut out a lot of that glare. And the kind of sunglasses that are usually marketed as driving glasses almost certainly contain polarising filters. The idea is that it prevents that glare from dazzling the driver and making it difficult to see. You might also notice one final thing here, that the sky looks bluer with the filter. 
but without. That's why photographers like polarizing filters. So ordinary light isn't polarized, but it can be polarized by reflection. And it can be polarized by something else as well. It can be polarized by something called scattering, which I'm going to show you now. The box isn't important, it's just to rest this on. This is a glass jar. It did have herbs or spices in it, but now it's got water in it and a few drops of milk. And I'm going to shine the torch through there. And I'm going to hold this lens in front of it. And I want you to watch what happens here. Now, it's not a very marked effect, this, but there is definitely a change in the light level from there to there. See, more light passes through when I hold it like that than when I hold it like this because the light as it's scattered by the milk is partly polarized and therefore the filter allows more light through if I hold it this way than if I hold it this way. Just to show you the difference that the milk makes, if you use just water, so this is a similar jar with just water in it and you'll see there's no scattering effect there, you don't get that glow effect from the, from the jar at all. I think polarisation is a really interesting topic and although it can be quite complicated and it's studied at advanced physics courses at school like the IB and the A-levels and the AP courses, it can also be studied in a really simple way and all you need are a couple of polarising filters that you can get from sunglasses. Now I don't recommend smashing anybody's good polarising sunglasses but I got these in a shop nearby from a fashion store. They're not expensive branded glasses. And if you're very careful and gentle, you can pop the lenses out of them without damaging either the frame or the lenses. And then you can pop them back in when you've finished and nobody will ever know the difference. But don't do it with anybody's expensive glasses, will you? <laughs>